All right, what's going on, Fishaholics? Rich here, down in South Carolina. Today's my second day down here. Yesterday I got out in the kayak because of my friend Mike, uh, who's a guy down here, and he put me on some, you know, my first ever redfish, put me on a nice flounder, six pound, 13 ounce. And uh, I'm gonna try and do something solo today, though, and hopefully find some flounder, trout, and maybe some redfish. This mud is like putridly stinky and really thick, but if we can get to the water, we're almost there. Maybe we can catch some fish. And it uh, looks like we got some pretty low water. I know the tide should start coming in pretty soon. And hopefully that'll bring in some fish if there isn't already some fish here. But we're gonna give it a shot. And uh, oh, let's look at this. Found a little bobber. <laughs> so yesterday, we were actually fishing the same spot in the kayaks but uh, we were fishing with jig heads like this with live hole mullet on it. Today I don't have mullet, so I'm hoping that, you know, I can get some fish on artificials. Today is like a lot nicer weather. Yesterday was really, really cold in the morning. It was a lot windier. So maybe with uh, some more pleasant weather conditions, there'll be some fish here cruising around and uh, more aggressive. You know, thinking about eating a bait. There's one. Oh, nice little red to start off the morning. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that tail. Caught him on the artificial, which I wanted to do. This is just a little Z-Man Pogies little swim bait and a nice little jig head. As soon as this little bait hit the bottom, this guy crushed it. Gorgeous fish. That tail is just unbelievably beautiful. Let's get him back. Ooh. All right, hell yeah. Five minutes of fishing, first red right there. Whoa, that was awesome. You know, it wasn't a giant, that was about like the same size redfish I caught yesterday, but to get them on the artificial, that was like a pretty good confident booster. Just, you know, look at that little bait. It's all covered in mud now, but um, you can't really see it. But anyway, look at my rod. <laughs> gotta love this kind of fishing, but I mean, you can't really mind it if you're catching fish. That was awesome. Whew. All right, let's try and get another one, maybe a bigger one. I think this will be the spot here today, or at least uh, while the tide is right, it'll be the spot. And I wasn't even close to this dock. I was actually pretty far off it, but that fish was just there. There's another one, another one. Oh yeah, a little bigger. I'll take it. They're definitely chilling in this little spot. Look at that gorgeous fish and I love that tail. That is pretty. See you later, buddy. Oh yes, two fish in 10 minutes, not even. They might be piled up right behind this dock. Hmm, nothing else. Tide's coming up pretty quick, so I wanna try and fish on the other side of this dock and then maybe fish the next dock up. Let's see if we can pull some reds there. This looks good right here. Like right under there, fishing around these pilings. All right, money cast right here. Oh, boom, right there. Gonna be a red. Come on, come on. 
Wow, not even a tap. It's funny how they were, you know, it was two fish like right there as soon as I got here. And uh, now it just seems lifeless. Oh, flounder. Yeah, that was a little different. Now I think down here it's uh, 15 inches for a keeper. It's probably not 15, it's probably like, you know, maybe like 14. But I'll take it. I moved a little bit further up the creek from where I was catching those redfish. You know, I couldn't buy any more bites after, you know, I had those two fish. So I made a little move and got that flounder. Tide's starting to come up pretty high by the mud flat. I caught that flounder by just casting up current, kind of letting it just drift and sink all the way down. And we just like swimming it nice and slow along the bottom. Like every, oh, is that a fish? Uh, I don't know what this is. Like a shell or something? What is this? Oh, this is a fish. It is, I don't know what it is, a lizard fish? Holy crap, they got teeth. They got really sharp teeth. They've got like two set rows of teeth. I don't know how I caught this guy, but I don't want to get bit. I think it's a lizard fish. If you guys know what kind of fish this is, post a comment. Flounder and uh, something or other fish. All right, I think we're gonna have to make a move, except for that little flounder and that weird fish. I couldn't get anything else. I'm just going to hit right behind this dock where I caught those reds and then maybe get out of here. Bounce to somewhere else. Oh! Just missed one right there. There's something. Oh, it's a trout. Nice trout. That's a surprise right there. Wow, that was a wild trout. He uh, escaped in this little puddle and went away. So that was quick, quick catch, quick release. <laughs> but we got the slam, that's uh, pretty cool. First ever South Carolina slam. Muddy, slushy stuff. You gotta step on the grass a little bit or you sink right in. Okay, looks like we still have a little bit of outgoing water. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't matter because the last couple days we fished in here, it was an incoming tide, so it was going this way. And the redfish were sitting right on to the right of this dock and then flounder, and I caught a trout out in the middle of the channel. Okay, we're gonna start off with this little Z Man Pogies little swim bait. There's something there. Oh, little flounder. Little flounder. 
was actually thinking about bouncing pretty soon because this tide's still moving out pretty good. But we got a fish. Little guy. I feel like if I go down towards maybe the inlet a little bit closer with this outgoing tide, there might be a better chance for a good flounder bite there. Or, I mean, even redfish that are being pulled out, sea trout. All right, I moved my car down a little bit. Got like a attack dog behind me, so what we're gonna do is just walk through this neighborhood down towards uh, the creek mouth or the inlet and uh, try and find some fish there. We do have a nice boat ramp behind me. Maybe I'll hit that on the way back. But uh, I think it's already 10.30, like we're running out of time. Running short on time, quick. Oh, just missed the fish. Kind of hard to say what that was. If you look right there. What do we got here? Fish on. Oh, nice speck. Decent one right there. Nice pretty little fish here. There he goes. All right guys, so I think we're gonna bounce from this spot and try and go back to that first spot that I was at to try and catch one last redfish. And uh, my, you know, my sister actually just called me because you know we're supposed to leave together. And uh, I didn't even realize it's already 12 o'clock. I got to this spot at 10:30, and like the time just flew by. But I worked this like little river area here pretty hard, and uh, had a bunch of bites, but only was able to catch that one trout. So at least we got to try and complete the slam. I probably got about 30, 40 minutes left to fish. So I'm just gonna run back to that first spot and hit it hard really quick and then get out of here. Okay, I probably have enough time for like 10, maybe 15, 20 casts if I'm pushing it. This is the time of the tide these fish should be here. Come on, little red. Oh, there's one. Oh, gosh. Get out of there. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice, pretty little red. This little guy almost wrapped me around the dock. I caught, I caught him so close. Pretty little red, look at that tail too. So blue, that's beautiful. Caught him on a different little bait too, kind of just like a little saltwater bass assassin. There he goes, yes. Completed my second ever inshore slam. Just wanna try it here real quick on this side. There's one. Okay, red number two, about the same size. Finally got one on this side of the dock though. Everything I've been catching on that side. But finally, found one over here. All right, I gotta get out of here. That was a good effort though. We completed the slam. 
caught an extra red. Ugh. And now I gotta get out of this quicksand mud and get cleaned up and drive back to the house. All right, so I'm really kind of in a rush. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe or like and share the video if you're heading down to South Carolina with some friends and want to, you know, learn a little bit more about how to catch these fish. And uh, it was cool to finally, uh, you know, catch some redfish. You know, I caught my first redfish two days ago, got on them pretty good yesterday, and then caught two today. And uh, yeah, good little trip. I was, you know, I was really coming down here to get those redfish. And then uh, on top of that, you know, I also caught some nice flounder and some nice trout. And uh, I kept it simple for the most part. The rod that I was using here, it was just a seven foot six medium power fast action St. Croix Tidemaster travel spinning rod, lots to say. And then I had just a 3000 size reel on there, a 10 pound test braid and a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. And then, uh, you know, for baits that I packed, I pretty much just packed small little swim baits. Anything that probably imitates or looks similar to a small little mullet probably would have worked and probably would have got the job done on those small little reds and the sea trout and as well as the flounder. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.